if your kids were young now, would you give them the measles, the mumps vaccine? No. I got measles, mumps. When I was a kid, it was... Lots of people die from them, used to die from those diseases. Oh, well, you know what? They died in the 1900s. It is very concerning that the head of health policy in the United States continues to spread this information as last as 2024. And I want to separate some fact from fiction. This is really important as we are seeing measles outbreak where it's largely affecting unvaccinated communities. And we just had a death in an unvaccinated child. It's very, very hard to kill a healthy child with any infectious disease, but particularly with measles. History is littered with tragic examples. Measles, pneumonia, and the flu have all claimed the lives of children who were healthy. In our clinical experience, we see this as well. Also, surviving an illness isn't a win if it means enduring long hospitalizations, severe complications, or lifelong disabilities. It's like saying, you don't need to wear a seatbelt because you might not die in a crash. You could still end up with a brain bleed or broken bones, but at least you didn't die. Whether a child is considered healthy or not, a lost life is a loss. Vaccination isn't just about protecting individuals. It shields our entire community, including our most vulnerable. And the World Health Organization now says vitamin A is an absolute cure for measles, which we didn't know about back then. To be clear, the World Health Organization endorses vitamin A supplementation as an adjunct treatment to lessen measles complications, especially in children who are already deficient. Measles increases the body's demand for vitamin A and depletes its levels, making deficiencies more dangerous and leading to a higher risk of prolonged illness, secondary infections, and other complications. However, while vitamin A can mitigate the severity of the disease once the child has it, it does not replace the need for vaccination, which remains essential for preventing measles. And there are lots and lots of studies out there now that show that kids who get measles as a child are much healthier when they grow up, that they're much more resistant to cancers, to atopic diseases, to allergies, and to, uh, and to heart disease. This keeps getting thrown out, and there is no credible research backing this wild claim up that measles gives kids lifelong health benefits or better resistance to cancers, allergies, or heart disease. On the contrary, measles triggers a phenomenon known as immune amnesia, where the immune system forgets its previous defenses, leaving kids more vulnerable to other infections for years afterward. And let's be real, while these unfounded claims float around, we're actually witnessing pockets of measles outbreaks across the country. Instead of risking a dangerous gamble with your health, rely on vaccination, the only proven way to protect against measles and its complications. As we know it today, there's no magical bonus from measles. Misinformation can hinder our public health efforts, especially during outbreaks. So let's focus on sharing accurate information to protect our communities.